Hello everybody and welcome to my YouTube channel, Dream of Crafts. And my name is Deanna and today we're going to do the walkthrough on my latest project. It is a mailbox from the Dollar Tree that I've redone with Graphic 45 um, Garden Goddess papers. And I will go through this first and then we'll go through the supplies that I used. So on the top you can see that I've decorated with the flowers and these flowers I made myself. They were cut out of my Cricut and then these ones actually I tipped them different ways and pinched the tips and then just added a gem in the center. And then these ones were also cut from my Cricut using Graphic 45 papers. And then I just used the Help Heartfelt Creations um, shaping kit to create the bowls and uh, of this flower and then also these ones are trying to represent like the sunflowers and they're created the same way as these um, peach and pink ones here i also used uh, some of the paper roses in this video um, and they are from uh, wish.com and these little things were just some uh, in my stash from some picks from Christmas that I had kept. And I also used just a few of the Prima flowers and the leaves. And the flowers were like these ones. And the number for those is 631079. So that was the flowers I used. I'm going to tip it. So you can see the front here a little bit. Okay, so this is the front of the box. Here I've used a Tim Holtz. And I think they're like the library um, file pulls or whatever. I've just placed it upside down so when I pull this up. And it does make it a lot easier to open and close this. Um, I've used the Graphic 45 Unique Paper Crafting from the top of one of the papers. And cut out the Garden Goddess Circles. Uh, emblem from the front of the pack and then just uh, cut it in half and then stacked them on top of each other and then I glued this down with my glossy accents and these butterflies are ones that I cut from my Cricut they're just the same butterfly cut twice and uh, one paper is facing up and then it's flipped and then that's the other side these are cut out of graphic 45 papers there's another butterfly here just a single here's another double and then there's another single here. On the back, I've used the Garden Goddess, uh, kind of fussy cut that out. Some of the flowers, another butterfly. And then this uh, piece here was just in my stash. It's just a piece of chipboard. It says, flowers speak a language which, what, which we yet may learn. A deviation of my story's might. So, oh, mysteries might so that's that and then here's this side and then this is the piece that's cut out from the I always call it the main page the one that's first and the one that's on the cover I just kind of cut that out and glued it on there and then this is the base these flowers here are also from uh, these are from AliExpress and then you can see the bottom I've got a couple Butterflies glued down there. This is just uh, moss from Hobby Lobby. And then this is just a, a, I think it's about an eighth inch thick circle, wood circle from Hobby Lobby. I think they come in like a pack of four or something like that. So on the inside, I'm going to hold it here gently because um, I want to, I don't want to pull on things. Um, Inside, I've created three envelopes of paper, and each one of these will hold ten photos, and these ones run vertical, and then on the back two, they run vertical, and I will show you the here. Oh, there it is. And then these are just open where you can 
can tuck these. This is a tuck spot, another tuck spot. Then you put a full picture there, a full picture there. Another tuck spot. These are like a little framelit that I created with scraps. Tuck spot, another framelit. And then this one is actually a little pocket. So you could actually get your picture down in there if you want, or cut your picture down and then put a little tag in there, a journal on here. So that is the yellow one. And these are all magnet closures. Here I've just fussy cut a flower out and glued it to the top of the magnet. And then, then here, this is the magnet on top, and I just fussy cut a little circle um, and glued it on top there. And this is the green one. And the green one runs like this. So you get this. You got a tuck spot here. Another framelit. Another little spot to tuck your pictures in here. These are just the excess from cutting out from the envelope pocket that you end up with. Another frame here. Another tuck spot. So you get 10 that run this way, vertical, and then you get 20 that go horizontal. And a little tag spot here, a framelit, tag, whoops, put yours upside down, there. And then this one here is just, I um, um, kind of like patchworked my scrap pieces to create that. And uh, no sense of wasting those scraps. So this is, I mean, all together, you can get 30 photos in here. This is the pink one. And these are vertical. And another tuck spot here. Framelit. Tuck spot. Framelit. A little cross members there. Go this way. Tuck it, frame, tuck, and then here I've additionally cut out another little flower and glue it right over top of the magnet, and a uh, picture there, and a picture there. So it makes a nice, nice um, place to hold your photos. You can make it and not do any photos if you don't want to. Uh, you can just do the the mailbox. Like I said, I got I got the mailbox from Dollar Tree, and uh, just redid it. I usually have them at Christmas time. This was a Christmas one, and uh, it's uh, sorry the phone ringing threw me off. <laughs> it's a nice little um, decorative element. I'll show you what I had left over from the paper. So these are just a few scraps that I had here. Just a couple little scraps there, not very many. And then I also had um, one tag that I cut out, and then these three tags that are left on there. Uh, half of uh, this sheet left, and one full sheet of each page plus two of this page left. So I still got quite a few papers in here. And in addition to this from this paper pack, um, at an earlier date, and the video is already uploaded, I also created oops, this birdhouse out of that same paper pack. So I've gotten out of that eight by eight pack, I have gotten a lot of use out of it so far. And I believe the rest of the pack I'm probably going to use um, to create their uh, Graphic 45 has a, a thing going right now. It's April, so their April challenge is to use your leftovers and mix and match your Graphic 45 to create a project. So I believe that's what I'm going to use the rest of this pack for in my scraps. And probably to go along with that I'll probably use the rest of my 8x8 eight eight, um, Princess Graphic 45 to create maybe a folio or something, but we'll see what I end up doing with that. But yeah, I've still got <laughs> still got paper left on the 8x8 eight eight pack, which is amazing. So 
So I hope you enjoyed my videos and a thumbs up is always appreciated. Uh, I'd appreciate it if you subscribe to my channel. If you do subscribe, please hit that bell so you can be notified each time I put up a new video. I load up two to three videos a week, so I really appreciate you taking the time and joining me. Until the next time, well, I hope you have a great day. Bye-bye.